Well, first of all, um, from the perspective of uh, what, what Representative Rashore has done to, to bring jobs to the community uh, already in the past uh, two years alone, uh, we've seen a new building uh, on River Drive at Western Illinois University. This building, we've uh, seen phase two be uh, allocated um, the, the funding uh, for 33 million more dollars for uh, Western Illinois University. But in terms of uh, a real uh, job climate, uh, Representative Shore is committed to uh, dealing with the real budget issue that, you know, let's look at why we got to the place that we're at. One, we've had, you know, 30 years of, of, of a lot of issues of carrying uh, budget deficits, but we had one of the greatest recessions, the greatest recession since uh, the Great Depression, which means we have a depression of uh, tax dollars coming in. Uh, but we still have vital services of education, of, uh, of Medicare recipients that, that, that need health care. So we have those expenditures, but we didn't have the money coming in. Um, but let's look at the last budget that Representative Rashore uh, voted for. $2.8 billion with a B that was cut out of it. Um, he, he is committed to dealing uh, with our budget and with paying our bills on time. But we cannot uh, forget to neglect those who can't help themselves, and we can't uh, neglect education funding, making sure our teachers are, are, are paid a, a very reasonable and, and good wage. Um, those are all extremely important issues, and, and there has to be a combination of both, and I think uh, Representative Rashore has uh, shown that, that he is willing to engage in, in both of those priorities. First of all, um, I would go in and look to create jobs more for just, not just for union jobs, not that I have anything against the unions, but jobs for people who are seeming to find themselves being left behind right now. There's a lot of people who've been sitting out here looking for work that because they're not sitting behind the doors or someone's friend or family member, they're not able to get those jobs. Um, when we look at the budget crisis right now, even though it was said that Mr. Rashore has been doing a good job of that, it's sad when we look at this last thing where we're taking cuts for our children, for education. It's sad when we look where right now $80 billion in a deficit to Rock Island County for paying the bills. There's a lot of things that need to be addressed by the state representative that just have not been being done. Um, and I will go in as your state representative and strive to make sure that Rock Island um, 72nd District will have representation that will make sure that you are a priority. And I see that we don't have that right now. We've had a lot of things that's been real passive. Mr. Brashore is a good guy, but the reality is as far as fighting for Rock Island County, that has just not been being done. Thank you. Look, uh, Illinois is in bad shape. Under Representative Rashore's reign, we've declined in nearly every economic index out there. We're 48 and 50 and everything except for one. We're number three and the most corrupt in the union. That's got to change because I don't believe there's Republican jobs or Democrat jobs, but there's American jobs, and they're to be had right here in Rock Island County, right here in the 72nd District. And uh, uh, Mr. Jacobs said that Rashore cut $2.8 billion from the budget, yet we still have a $9 billion deficit. So the solution is not going to be to shave it thin and hold our essential services like Medicaid and education hostage at the expense of these uh, poor budgetary processes. We need someone who will go through the budget line by line, eliminating waste, while at the same time promoting policies that lead to job growth for families and businesses to start and stay right here in Illinois. It was uh, about a week ago, Caterpillar was in the news, and they were, they were going to have a plant right here in Silvis, but I believe they went to Mexico or China instead. And, and the uh, sad part about it is that within... Pardon? Oh, okay, right. But they did not, it did not come here in Illinois. And the reason they implicated was a poor policy environment in Illinois. They implicated also that, that since last year's tax income increase, passed and sponsored by Representative Rashore as a major reason they did. We've got to change it. We've got to turn our state around, and I believe I'm the guy to do it. Thank you.